Hey guys, being here. Um, previously we did this um, parametric adaptive vault seating. So um, today, today we are going to model another similar one. So it's a it's called Star Vault, um, and it's a generic model instead of adaptive family. So let's start. First, create a generic model. Then create a place some reference plans and dr dimension equal dimension equal dimension and dimension. So select these two dimension and uh, let's create a width parameter. I'll call it W1. So go to front view RP DI. Oh sorry, yeah RP DI X. Yes. And then this will be the height of the uh, this family. So actually, um, this will be the height. Uh, let's call it the height one, okay? And I'll pay up high height. I'll call it R two uh, uh, H two, okay? H two. And now, uh, in this elevation, I'm going to create a reference line. So reference line use this one centered end arc so then create this reference line so uh, I, I'm not worried about um, the constraints so I'll just leave it so here um, create a radius dimension so and also from from here I know that the radius will equals the half of the width so I'll call um, I'll create a new I'll call it R radius. Uh, okay, so radius equals half of the uh, W1. Apply and okay. So um, actually, so the H2, I believe H2 will equal to R as well. So um, actually, I'm going to just um, maybe change it. We don't even need the H2, but it's it's okay. We can just put in the formula. So I'll call it um, W1 divided by two as well. So yeah, so they are the same thing. So um, okay. So now go to left. So we're going to create another one. Reference plan. Oh sorry, reference line. So you can also do this if you want to. It's just slightly different way, but you can create this one. No problem. And then create a radius dimension and a link that to R. So now, um, oh hang, um, actually we will need some more more uh, reference plans for uh, for the column. Okay, so I'll just create. So I'll pay from here to here, and here to here, here to here, here to here. Here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. So now di and equal and equal equal and uh, last one here. So these are for the columns. Okay. So and also di. So this will be the overall height, oh sorry, overall width of the columns. So there will be four of them. So one, two, three, four. They are the same. I'll create a new uh, parameter. I'll call this column width CW and OK. So now let's go back to front view. Previously we did this one. Uh, actually, I think it's, it's, it's wrong. So I want it to start from this, from here up down to here instead of in the middle so i'll delete this one i'll create a new one so reference line so uh, arc from here to here and go up and then create this so we we need to um do a little bit so change the formula so go here r will equals 
one divided by w one. Um, actually, w one minus divided by two is this one minus half of the c w. So I'll do uh, minus c w divided by two. Or I'll, I'll make uh, I'll add a bracket. So so apply. And OK, so select this one and yeah. So now the overall height H2. So actually, I, I, I'll just change this instead of use H2, I'll just use R. It's a bit e it's easier. So and also, uh, we don't need H2 anymore. I'll just delete it. Okay, so now go to the left. Elevation. Let's do it again. So delete, create, uh, reference line. It's either this one maybe, and 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 link to the R. So now let's have a test. So if I change the overall width, uh, maybe uh, 1200. So you will see uh, it still match everything. Okay. So um, maybe the if I change the column width, uh, 150, yeah, oh good, 300, yeah, good. So now, uh, all the reference plans are uh, not most of them, not so far, it's all good. So now we can create this. So first, we're going to create a extrusion of the solid. Okay, so and then start from here to here. So this will be in the lock them. I go to front view, finish it, and I'll just drag this to the top of here, and also I'll drag it to I'll lock this onto the um, the, the level. Okay, so well, actually here I'm going to just add a little bit more because um, because because if if you if you stop this solid at this point, it will have issue. Promise you. So um, maybe we can add another 100, 200 at the top. Okay. So uh, now, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I'll delete the H2. Maybe we need that it back. So I'm going to just change it to now and create a new. I'll call it H2. Yeah, we do need that H2. So H2. I'm going to use the R H2. I'll use R plus. I'll just add maybe 150 millimeter and OK. So now I'll drag this up. So make this whole uh, solid thing at uh, this height. OK. So now we have this solid here, and we can do some uh, cut or void. OK. In the front view, we're going to create a void extrusion pick line. Pick this. So see, this is a lock is checked, so it automatically lock onto the reference line, and also reference plan, reference plan, and also for this one, I personally I like to pick the reference plan instead of the level. Now trim, trim, and trim, and go to floor plan, and yeah, finish and drag this. I like to drag it all the way to the the very um out the the ref reference plan very uh, outside so here so make sure the void cut through the solid okay so now go to the left and let's do it this another one extrusion pick so reference line locked this one this one and this one trim tr trim and uh, yeah, so okay, so go to floor plan. So we'll see this is the one. So just drag it and lock onto a very external one reference plan. So um, now go to 3D view. So this is let me change the scale a little bit. So yeah, this is the uh, we are not finished yet. We still need a little bit more work. So if you just need this, that's fine. Then if you need cut a little bit more in the middle, so we need some more work. So first go to floor plan. 
So we're going to create another two void or maybe one void. Okay, so but we will need look cut a section diagonally. So first I'm going to create two reference plans. So first one, I'll drag it and another one here this way. Okay. Uh hang on. Maybe I only need one. So I'll just yeah create uh yeah create one of them. Now uh if I uh, I'll need cut a section view. Okay and I'll do it maybe roughly here to here. And make sure it's 44 degrees, so which is in the on the screen it's 135. And then I'll flip it and looking that way. So if I go to this section view, so which is here, and you will see uh, this is the one reference plane we just created. So perpendicular to this view, so we can see it. Other than this, there's no other ref vertical uh, reference plane, so we will need one. Okay, so. Um, I'll also change it to wireframe WF so we will see um, we will need to cut create a, um, a void to cut a little bit more on this solid so let me hang on let me just go to the floor plan so if it's a little bit confusing when you you can see things behind here so I'm going to drag it back a little bit so now if you go to section view so you will see uh, you won't see the, the column in the middle and what we are going to do it um, looks like we still need another reference plan on the top okay so I'll create one now so this is a reference plan and I'm going to dimension it and I know the radius I'll just use the radius for this so it will match this heart and then we need another reference line to cut a bit of here but before that we will need a reference plan here so I'll show you why okay so if I create a reference line so um, uh, yes we will we do need another reference plan let's go to floor plan so we need a reference plan here for our reference lines so I'll do a reference plan here and so make sure it's uh, perpendicular to this one so yeah so now I'll call maybe I'll give it name so this one will be die die diagonal one maybe this one I'll call it dark node 2 so I know I'm going to create a reference uh, line on dark node 2 go to the section so uh, first set work plan I'll pick the dark node 2 and now I can create a reference line on it so without uh, another reference line I'm guessing uh, I can uh, uh, I'm trying to place it from this point okay go up 44 degrees and place this reference uh, reference line and also I want I, I'll place a, a radius so um, to it and then I'll try to ch change adjust the parameter see if it this will always match this edge of this column so if I change to 2400 so you will see it's it's not it's not following this so what we need to do is we need a reference plan here okay so this reference line will follow that reference plan so I'm going to create a reference plan here I'll just randomly place here and then we, we, we will have this um, uh, uh, dimension so we just need to work out what this dimension needs to be so go back to floor plan so, so if I I'll just Sorry, if I so from this point to we, we need to work out so from this point to this point and so if I link this one and in this triangle shape so we know this this is width sorry this is W1 divided by 2 
and this is uh, colon cw divided by 2. So if I minus this, uh, my, uh, minus um, these two, and I will get this one, okay? And from this one, because this is 44 degrees, so if I time square root of 2 to this, so if I call this x, times x will be the one we need, the dimension we need. Okay, so I'm going to call uh, create a new uh, 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 dimension here. Oh, did I just create that in section yet? Yeah. So and then I'll cre create a parameter. So I'll call it um, maybe W3. Do we have W2? Uh, let's try W2. Yep. So go to family type, and then so for this one, so um, x. Okay, so W2 equals uh, bracket um, w1 divided by 2 bracket minus wc uh, column width divided by 2 bracket another bracket bracket and then times sqrt bracket 2 so now we have this uh, see it will go match the edge of if I go to floor plan, you will see it will match the edge of this, which will be the column. So now go back to the section. I'll 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 move this. I'll move this reference line to this edge, and I think that should be enough. I'll try I'll try and change it and see if it will, will follow. See now this reference line will follow this edge for this reference plan. And what we need now, we can create a, um, a void. Okay, so create void, void revolve, pick line, so lock. So first this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And trim, and then axis line, I'm going to pick this reference plan. So if I finish it, and if I go to floor, uh, 3D view, so you will see, this is the result. So now if I, um, I'll, I'll just hide all the orientation. So let's try, let's try test. So see first, height uh, should be fine, one, maybe I'll ch 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 change it to 2100, all good. Uh, uh, this one will change the size of the column high good and width of this uh, vault 2400 300 3 meter yeah I think that's all good so now that's it um, yeah so you can place them um, so I'll just show you if you create a project and then you can because it's a generic model you can um, you can join them so if I load this into the project Place it and maybe copy them for and also copy them this way and I go to 3D view so you will see there there are lines between them but that's fine you can join them okay so that's it and then you will so it's very uh, there will be no line between them. Okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, of course I'll upload this family so you can have a look. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.